Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Woe77. Thanks for your support, Woe. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Phoenix Point, Backer Build 4. Now, uh, we covered a lot of the basics last time, but there's still a lot of content out there we haven't seen yet, so today, I thought we'd pick up right where we left off last time and check out these points of interest immediately surrounding Phoenix Base Alpha. Of course, first, we uh, should probably make sure our soldiers are actually ready for this. Now, in Phoenix Point, the developers are trying to find a good middle ground between the uh, granular micromanagement of classic XCOM and the streamlined convenience of more modern games. For example, damaged equipment is automatically repaired when you get back to base, but you will have to replace spent clips and grenades. Ah, there we go. Looks like Billy here needs another magazine. Though, I didn't realize that his encumbrance was already maxed out. If we want him to carry extra ammo, then we're going to have to have him drop something else. Otherwise, he'll be over-encumbered, and uh, that'll reduce his action points and overall effectiveness. Better to just uh, drop the turret for now. Anyway, I think we're all set. Let's see if we can find a good spot to build a radar station. Dorothy Adams, Democracy in Action. Well, there's our first haven. Moving on. Camp Vera, honk if you hate the apocalypse. Oa Zaka remembered. Somebody hacked the motto generator again. Oh, you scamps, it's an Adrian. You'll never survive the apocalypse. Well, our first batch of POIs was a bit of a disappointment. Three friendly havens, but no potential recruits. I suppose, um, Oazaka Remembered here will make a good place for our first radar station. Hopefully, this should give us some more uh, travel options. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Well, looks like we've got no shortage of uh, places to investigate. We are running a little low on supplies, so let's see if we can find another scavenging site. Volos 13. Another dawn will come. Oh, okay. Um, this must be one of the new events. We have located an abandoned military outpost. Guess we'll search it. We have recovered all the resources we can find. Well, I uh, don't feel like I earned it, but I guess we'll take it. Hopefully the events in the final game are a little more involved than that. Let's try this again. Looks like we found another outpost. Guess I shouldn't complain. That's a lot of free resources. Oh, uh, you'll notice that we refuel every time we visit a friendly haven. That's only temporary. The developers are currently reworking the entire fuel system. I'm assuming it'll be a whole lot harsher in the final game. Alright, let's finish clearing this out here. No point in building a radar station down there, though. It's mostly just ocean. Kutner Grove, united in hope. Outpost Rogue, Faith manages. Oh, okay. The citizens of Freeland believe that the values of the Phoenix Project and Synedrion are aligned and would like to support our struggle to understand the Pandora virus. They call an assembly to discuss what form this support should take. 
well, we don't have much choice, so I guess we'll wait. After listening to a detailed argument by Professor Kowalski, a local scientist, the Haven votes to contribute to our technological means, which form the best basis for solving this global crisis. Interesting. That plus 30 tech is nothing to sneeze at. That's the uh, resource you need to build weapons and armor, and other pieces of specialized equipment. I wonder if the uh, event would have played out differently, depending on our overall reputation with Sanhedrion. This map layout definitely favors a, uh, an alliance with Sanhedrion, just out of convenience, if nothing else. Aha, looks like we've uh, got our first potential recruit. A new Jericho assault trooper. Well, we've got resources to spare, so yeah, we'll take him. Hmm. I have to imagine that uh, in the final game, the type of soldier you're offered will be based on the type of haven you find them at. In this case, it probably should have been an independent soldier. Well, let's uh, take a look at our new recruit. Lauren Doyle. <laughs> Obviously, they uh, don't have the female character models in just yet. Hmm, interesting. This perk track really leans towards a uh, heavy assault hybrid. Let's give Lauren a uh, shotgun for now. We haven't really had a chance to uh, use those just yet. Oh, uh, one thing I should mention is that in Banker Build 4, you can only have one primary weapon equipped at a time. Otherwise, I'd give her a shotgun and an assault rifle. I guess we'll uh, swap her armor out too, otherwise those uh, mismatched colors are going to drive me crazy. And we're good to go. Ah, there we go. Looks like we finally found a scavenging site. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, okay, well, um, looks like the crabmen mean business this time, because that's clearly a machine gun. That makes them a whole lot more dangerous. Hmm. Two crabmen and a fireworm in sight. Let's see if we can uh, neutralize all three of these guys in our first turn. Now, uh, normally we'd want to take out this guy's machine gun first, to prevent him from returning fire. Just his bad luck that we brought a shotgun along. <laughs> Yikes. That'll do it. Now let's take care of that fireworm. We'll use the uh, submachine gun for that. Oh, not quite enough. That's fine. We'll uh, come back to that in just a moment. Nice. That's one less machine gun to worry about. Though, now we've got another crab man in sight. Oh, uh... It is worth noting that in the final game, there will be perception ranges and fog of war, so I don't think we'd actually be able to see these guys. Alright, 
let's finish off that fireworm uh, before I forget it. And let's get the rest of the squad into cover. I guess the uh, heavy doesn't need cover. I don't think those machine guns can actually get through his armor. are not happy with us. And they're getting reinforcements already. Hmm. Just outside our overwatch. All right, um, those shields do make things more problematic. Okay, technician's wounded, so let's get that patched up first. Oh, uh, med kits are a single use now. I'll have to remember that. I think we're going to have to advance pretty aggressively here. Otherwise, they'll pick us apart with those machine guns. Man, now I wish I hadn't dropped off that turret. We could uh, really use it about now. Oh well, we'll just have to make do without, I guess. Let's get our heavy up closer. That cannon's powerful, but it's no good at this kind of range. We can't risk taking any uh, frivolous pot shots here because that return fire could tear us apart. We'll just uh, play this conservatively. Huh, that was weird. I can't uh, imagine that was intended. Okay, well, we'll... Uh keep advancing and uh, hopefully they'll uh, start fighting back again. You know, they uh, might have skipped their turns because they deployed those shields. It's possible the developers changed how those work. Uh, 
Uh, well, that was a long shot. Hmm. Not going to do much damage with a shotgun at this range. Yeah, that's uh, about what I expected. Let's see if we can start flanking these guys. We will have to watch out for those reinforcements, though. Elevated perch might be good. Ah, there we go. Looks like they uh, snapped out of their stupor. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose that one. Oh, looks like we lost that one, too. Those machine guns definitely make things trickier. Yeah, there it goes. Shoot, that was tech, too. Oh, that's a fairly solid hit on our shotgunner. Let's get that patched up. We'll have to remember to fabricate more med kits. Hmm. I know they were planning to add shield bashing, so this guy might still be dangerous. All right, let's start picking these guys off. <laughs> Not even close. So much open space between us and them. All right, snipers, do your thing. Nice. Not enough to take him out, but it gets us a little closer. Let's pick this guy off. Okay, he'll drop dead from blood loss. Let's climb this ladder here. It's risky, but that perch should give us a much better line of sight. Hmm, or 
maybe not. Well, we'll just set him on Overwatch then. down. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that perch was clearly a bad idea. Alright, first things first, let's take a shot and uh, get off that perch. Nice. And retreat. Okay, I think we're almost done. Let's keep pouring it on here. Awkward. Oh, hey, that works. Very nice. I think that just leaves one crab man. Minor injury, lots of property damage. Yeah, that could be a problem. All right, fall back. It is worth mentioning that they haven't actually set uh, the structural integrity on a lot of these objects just yet. That's why cover gets blown through so easily. Oh, you know what? 
Let's just take out that wall. That should give us a clear shot. Yeah, now I feel silly. Let's wrap this up. I would like the uh, Heavy to get some action, but he just doesn't have line of sight. Oh well. There we go. Alright, looks like we got four of the six containers. Not bad. Oh, and we, uh... Got a lot of level ups. Uh, except for poor Harvey. Well, maybe next time. Nice work, squad. Let's get back to base. Well, no material, but... Plenty of tech and food this time. Nice. Alright, let's get back to base, take care of these level ups, and uh, I think we've reached a good stopping point. Hmm, a shame we didn't get more material. We are going to need another radar station soon. Now let's see here. Okay, looks like Beth and Beck went up a level. We'll definitely grab the Exertion ability. That's the bread and butter of the Assault class. I guess we could go for uh, Expert Packer, but I'm not really sure what else we'd want to carry. Let's just dump the rest of his points into attributes. Next up, we've got Patrick Murray, our other assault. <laughs> well, uh... I think Expert Shooter is an obvious choice here. Then we'll grab Exertion, and uh, the rest of his points will go into Attributes. Then our Technician went up a level. Well, we'll definitely grab the uh, Technician Heal skill. Though, uh, that does remind me that we really need to build more med kits. I am tempted to uh, give him another weapon proficiency, but I think I'm happy with the submachine gun. It's weaker, but it's also pretty utilitarian. Oh, uh, let's see if we can actually carry that turret now. Ah, not quite there yet. One more level should do it. Guess that's another reason not to use any heavier weapons either. 
Lauren's up next, and uh, of course, she'll get the exertion skill. Let's go ahead and give her the handgun proficiency, too. That'll make a nice backup weapon. Now let's get her equipped with a uh, Phoenix handgun. Hmm. Looks like the class filter doesn't take proficiencies into account. There we go, and uh, I think we're pretty much done. Alright folks, like I said, I think this makes for a pretty good stopping point. We'll hit the pause button for now, but we'll pick up here next time as uh, I think we'll start exploring to the north. I'd really like to find a new Phoenix base. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love talking about Phoenix Point, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official Discord channel, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, the official Dev Roadmap, or the original crowdfunding campaign over on Fig. You can also get your hands on a copy of Backer Build 4 by pre-ordering the game through the official Snapshot Games web store. As always, links are in the description.